Hello, <laughs> Northwest Indiana, like United your... States of America. Everybody that's watching us. Hello. Why do, why do I feel like it's like Robin Williams on Good Morning Vietnam? Good morning, everybody. <laughs> that's exactly what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. I never know who to address. Good morning, Vietnam. I don't want to say Northwest Indiana. No. We have, we have a bigger show than you that. Have, we have people in New York Dude, there's listening. people in California and Texas. New York. Texas. I, I got a text from somebody in Texas this morning. I'll be listening as I'm standing in line that's awesome. to vote. So. Thank you all for watching us down there. I love that. To friends, I like that. You did like y'all. That's right. And to our friends you. in California, it's early in the morning. It's we have 530 a.m. Thank you for waking up with us. Thank you, Mom. Hopefully, right. you're, <laughs> hopefully you're laying in bed thinking right. about us. By the way, I just um, noticed something about masks this morning. Yeah. I was like, you know what? One of the advantages, of, it's like 34 degrees out, right? Mm -hmm. One of the advantages of masks are people with big noses like me are not going to worry about it. It's going to keep it warm during the winter. Oh, yeah. Covered. You're, you're warm. I took it off. I was like, oh, that's cold out. But when mm. it on, you have no... It's that's nice. It's like an extra... This is a people pro mask. People in California don't have to worry about Northern things. California, they might. Way up north. Not really. Really? Not really. Even the furthest north. I mean, maybe in the winter. It's like 85 probably right now. What's it in Sacramento? Right. Probably hotter. 90. Wow. Yosemite, yeah. it's probably 30. Okay. <laughs> Who lives you wear in a mask there. Yeah, if you're a bison or something like that. Like, <laughs> I don't think I don't think they're wearing you have a to mask. Wear mask. Is no. there a mask mandate for bison? There is not. I checked. All right. Yeah. So we, have a, we, have a lawyer. A, we have a new special guest here today. Yes. Thank you very much to Crystal Miranda. She's a super fan of the show. And apparently of Joe Biden. And of Joe Biden. <laughs> and she's a damn good Democrat. And she's been a Tom McDermott supporter for the twenty years. Long time. I love her. Mm -hmm. She's a beautiful, wonderful mom. Employee and person, and big fan of the Backstreet Boys. I think humongous fan of right. Yeah, isn't not the Backstreet wait, Boys. Wait, it's some boy New band. kids on the Thank block. You, Thank boy. you, boy. She's probably yelling. She's probably like, Kevin. Backstreet Boys. She's like, how insulting. The Backstreet Boys. <laughs> well, what, what I knew hell? it was a boy band. You don't have your boy band straight. Yeah, I at definitely all. do not. It's New kids on the block. That's what I have for not having daughters. I don't have boy, right. boy bands. I, don't, I, I know yeah. Lindsay's a big boy band. Lindsay is not. <laughs> Lindsay is not a boy band. <laughs> Lindsay's fan. looking at me like Kevin. Yeah, Lindsay is in the '90s, maybe. Well, yeah, then back in the day. I don't remember that phase, baby. Boys, but that's kind of where it ended for me. So, who was your boy band? Uh, I was an Insync girl myself. Insync. Insync. We saw them. They played at the fest. No, they didn't. Didn't they get in a fight? See, you're getting your boy bands mixed. Up. I, I was an Insync girl boy band. too. It's easy to do. Hold it. Who's it's the easy band to get that boy bands in? mixed? Up. John, who <laughs> played? Who played the fest two who's, years ago? John, who's your boy band? That was Boys to Men. No. Wait. This is a boy band. <laughs> Wait, are they even a boy band? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> yeah, man. No, they're not. They're just all like right. a group. Don't they're make not. me start a poll already. Is Who's boys, boys to Men, men is boy not a boy band. band. What are they? I don't know. They're, they're like Motown. Um, they're yeah, Motown. Motown. They're Motown, Motown boy That's band. That's not a boy band. No. <laughs> I think they'd be in, If Boys to Men was listening right now, they'd be like, I listen, love... listen, dude, we are not boy Who is boy the band that played the fest a couple years ago? No, this is, they're famous because like the show after the fest, they got into a fight on in stage. In Detroit or something, and the guy like, they, they got, got in a fight, fight they, and they the, broke up. On the stage. You're right. They it broke up. Sync. Somebody is going to put this look on it up, Facebook. Please. It's not in sync, but I, I'm it's not in sync. Somebody look it up, Because Lindsay would have known. She would have been like, I was at that show. I love in sync. So these guys were. Dad, you would have definitely known. Known if Justin Timberlake it was came not, to no, <laughs> it was not. It was not Justin Timberlake. You are in sync. Has Justin Timberlake? I didn't it. know that. I know Justin oh Timberlake. God. I don't know. It NSYNC. was definitely not Backstreet Boys or in sync. Somebody, someone's gonna like know it this. Was one of the the, the hip hop. Thank you, thank you, Councilman Tyler. Boys to Men is definitely not a boy band. <laughs> okay. Capital N O T, John. But but uh, somebody help us with the band we're looking for. Like it was, <sighs> they played a couple years ago. All right, see you, Lens. We're gonna have to find this out. All right, Bye. somebody's gonna call me bad. Us. Color me Guess bad. who it was? It was Crystal. Crystal. Thank you, Crystal. The boy band. She For knows saving her the morning. She knows How her boy band. Color me color bad, me a boy band. band. It is a boy band. <laughs> and they got into a fight. Crystal would know, John. The show after they played the fest, they started slugging each other on stage. Needless to say, they're not a band anymore. Color me bad is no longer a I band. think we've established a couple things. One, boys to men is not a boy band, John. True story. Two, I agree. I don't know my boy bands, thank God. I want to... Three... <laughs> In sync has never been to Hammond. Kevin and I went to a Boys to Men concert one time together, John. It was memorable. We were holding hands. Well, it was memorable because of somebody that got arrested. Not so, one of us, by the way. The worst <laughs> part of my buddy getting arrested. Uh, buddy, know, let's. I mean, I think. I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna oh. say it. But let's just say a Throws friend of mine shot up, John. gets arrested and then drops the fact that he's going to my house. He's arrested by a Hammond police officer. Well, no, drop. Wait. 
drops the fact incorrectly that right. he's going to your house. It wasn't Kevin like he I, was going to your house. Because Kevin and I were at a Boys to Men concert, which is hugely embarrassing. So like <laughs> We had to admit it later. Where yeah, were you, Mayor? It comes out. <laughs> oh, was he coming to see you? I'm like, no, I was at a Boys to Men concert. <laughs> With Kevin. And they're like, what the hell were you doing at a Boys to Men concert? True story. Yes, true. and I, we were there, and I was pissed about. It. I'm like, this is freaking great. I have to tell the whole goddamn region that I went to a boys. By to the men way, concert boys to men's pretty good with Kevin. Yes, you don't go to a boys to men good. concert with a friend. They're good, your they're buddy. Incredible. They're hey, incredible. thank you, John. They are You're great. Right. By the way, great guys. And the Super reason we sweet. were there was we wanted to promote the show, promote the festival because it, they were coming. But in like, a if I months. ever call you up, John, and I'm like, hey, John, want to go to a boys to men concert with yes. me? Yes. Uh, yes is the answer. answer is yes. Well, then you have to <laughs> deal with like somebody might get arrested and, and lie about where they were going. Motel comes again. See? <laughs> <laughs> and John, our that is my the show. East Coast <laughs> by, right? <laughs> Motel Philly comes. See, uh, I know my songs. I was actually in Philadelphia and they were not filming that video. Not too strong, not too Back in soft. MTV days. Yep. And what's that really sad one? That they do. Crystal will tell us who, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. You know, we got Sheriff waiting out there. We're all bullshitting we about do. boys to men. And I don't know how we color got it. Me Boys bad. band wasn't even on our list Color today, me bad by the did way. get, by the way. So the color me bad, the funny thing about this story is there was one guy in the band at, at the fest. It was a huge asshole. Okay. Yeah. He was. Well, like he was, roid raging was or something. He was asking my, my staff for like illegal narcotics. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, and I'm not talking weed. I'm talking like, hey, can you get me some pills? Can you do this? And my staff was like like totally like nervous about it right and we're like who the hell is this guy this guy back in the day was like their big star and let's just say he's not a big star anymore and and he ended up being the one that caused the whole fight the very next wow. show the, the show after so john the sad song so hard to say goodbye there you go hey uh, we should we should probably knock off some of our intro let's business. do so, yeah we by the way yep. yep 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 we got a call waiting we're gonna go to phil's pick of the week for those of you that are uh we renamed it yeah, it's lock of the week, which is L O C. So for those of you that um, the lock bet your house, as Phil suggested, week. I apologize, and hopefully, you know, for those of you that are missing your mortgage payment because you yeah. bet the bills, John. Yeah, we're gonna get into that. Okay, so <laughs> you ready, Kev? I am. Okay, so like and follow. Okay, we're gonna do that. Part yeah, real or? quick, just a reminder to everybody out there. I know there's so many good commenters on Facebook. We really need you to subscribe and comment and. Do the five stars or four stars, I guess, if you really want to. It's important. And, um, yeah, it is. Absolutely. If we you could... give us ratings, like if you go in, the more people that rate us, the more the better the algorithm that we absolutely. could be in. We get up higher and on we the get list. More, we get more viewers and more listeners. Mm -hmm. So it's important for you to like and review our show. So please do that. It helps get the podcast. Like when you, let's say you subscribe to, I don't know, Pod Save America or Joe Rogan or whatever. And then it's say you might like similar ones right, to this right, and then we might right. come up. So please subscribe on Even if Spotify, you... on Apple Podcasts. Rate us and make a comment. Right. We even, might read it. Even if it's not five stars. Even if it's not. <laughs> you can give me five stars. You can give Kevin two stars. Like, you, you but, can do you, But if you're like going to do that, no, you can't. If you're going to do that, average it at least. Average Because then we'll okay. get at least three and a half like I did. four. I gave us a four, right? <laughs> I gave me a five and Kevin a three. There you go. Nice and easy. Thank you. I right. appreciate that. My, three is average, Kevin. I think well, you're very average. I was a button. You gave me a three? <laughs> I gave you a three. You're a caboose. That's like 60%. Caboose. Yeah, I mean, for a caboose, that is solid. <laughs> Let's, I think I won that vote, okay, by the sponsors. way. <laughs> Let's do sponsors. All we right, got people go. waiting. All right, All right. Thank you to our sponsors. Bob's Plastering and Painting provides professional, affordable, and reliable plastering and painting services with over 30 years of experience. They are licensed, bonded, and insured. Call today to schedule a free estimate at 219-616-6609. Check out before and after pictures at bobsplastrainandpainting.com. Latitude Commercial Real Estate is a full-service commercial real estate brokerage and property management management firm specializing in northern indiana and the chicago suburbs when you select latitude commercial you get chicagoland expertise with worldwide marketing and networking ability whether you are a developer looking to sell a tenant looking to expand an investor looking to purchase or an owner in need of property management services latitude can help contact latitude commercial real estate at 864-0200 that's 219-864-0200 or at latitude co that's latitude co.com so they can get to work for you nuevo leon tortillas tortillas nuevo leon has been chicagoland's tortilla brand since 1975 nuevo leon makes delicious flour and corn tortillas as well as crispy nacho chips that you can find wherever you shop look for their popular red and white label visit the website at tortillas nuevo leon.com for more information you're getting a bad rep What's that? like um there's a couple people on facebook like what's in the cup mayor 
Like what do they think? It's like full of tequila. Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> full of the tequila. The expensive I will, I tequila. Am, tequila. I am very uh, honest about what I'm drinking. Like when I said I'm not, I'm not a day drinker, even though we That's were drinking true. tequila that morning. That I is just, true. I just don't. I don't think day drinking's never. The ever, only time ever you'll ever see idea. me day drink is uh, if I'm drinking a Bloody vacation. Mary. Bloody Mary. But like I don't day drink. Bloody Mary on Sunday. Bloody Mary like golf in the morning. Sure. Bloody Mary like. If you're gonna have to drink something, it's sort of. I a did one after the five k last weekend. There you go, bloody. Yeah, it was good. Right. I did All not. Right. I had water. Good thinking, guys. Yeah. There's something honest about your me. drinking. Yes, John. Phil's pick of last week. Then we got to call week. it the lock of the week. Hey, it's not just right. a pick. I'm, lock of the week. L O C, as I, in lock pod. I yeah. think that we should call Kelly. I'm worried about Phil and and what he's doing to their finances. I think a call to <laughs> Kelly would be well warranted. Let me see if I can get her on. And uh, I think I fixed it too, by the way, where Phil wouldn't be able to hear our conversation if I can get Kelly on. Good. Right. Well, let's he, try it. So he won't be able to? He will not be that's able great. to hear this conversation. That's great. He so could, like, He could still be watching. Well, he's probably not. Well, let's that's just, true. He's probably sleeping. Let's just talk to Kelly right, and then try right. to get this shit straight <clears throat> so that, you know, we can try to figure out what's going on with Phil's head. I'm worried about him. He's just I mean, he's I'm missing not. every, I'm every just, pick. I'm just pissed at him, but no, I'm not because I wouldn't take his bet. Well, I'm like, I think I have somebody. Kelly, are you on the line? Kelly? Hello. Hi, Kelly. Oh, my. Kelly Taylor. Hi, guys. Hey, what's going on? Not too much. I'm on my way to work. What are you guys doing? Uh-oh. Not, and you know, uh, get to work. Kelly, I'm sort of worried about what's going on in your family. I wanted to talk to you a little <laughs> bit about it. You know, okay. your husband's doing our lock of the weeks here, and people are relying on his picks, and, and he's <laughs> 0 for 4, Kelly. I'm more worried about your your own personal finances, Kelly, but I hope you probably keep your paycheck separate from Phil's. Given you his. know it's kind of weird that you guys say that because Carter did say that Daddy was borrowing money from him out of his paycheck. <laughs> really? <laughs> See, um, oh, it's Carter. Times are tough, I'm sure. Like he's zero for four. That's hard. It's hard to go four and zero, much less zero for four. <laughs> if a big guy comes knocking at your door, Kelly, just <laughs> <laughs> right. Is that why there's random cars parked on our That's street? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I could send nervous. I could send HPD over there to help you. The out chief of you're... staff's tires get slit. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kelly. I don't know if he's doing this on purpose, but like. I mean, there's people that are relying on his good word, and this guy's 0 for 4. Like, what I do we do I just hope he's this? not 0 for 4 at other things. I mean, I'm, he's a good guy, Kelt, so. You know. Not good. We were, we were talking to Jim the other day, Kelt. You know, Jimmy, you know, for those of you who aren't aware that Jimmy is uh, is Phil's brother, and Jimmy's much better at pick of the week than Phil. And mm. it would be super embarrassing if we had to fire Phil and go to Jimmy's pick of the week. I just don't know what to do. Do you have any advice, Kelly? I mean, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. <laughs> Kelly's I like, I listen to Jim all the time over <laughs> Phil. <laughs> so, 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 I, mean, what's I would have the... only met Jimmy first. <laughs> oh, my God. It's all, it's all starting uh, to make God, sense. Phil Dude, can't hear this conversation. Phil cannot hear anything you're talking about, Kelly. So, like, don't oh, worry. God. That'll like, never come up. This isn't being recorded or anything. No, no, no you won't be able to find this on the internet anytime later. <laughs> there's, there's, there's hardly anybody that watches this show. So, like, don't worry about that. And we will never let Phil know that you know, you said that. So. Okay. Thank you, guys. We appreciate you so much. Thanks, Kelly. Kelly. I'll keep, we'll right. keep a have a good day. We'll thanks, keep Kelly. you and your family in our prayers. Yes, thanks, Kelly. <laughs> and, and let's try We got Phil waiting, too. Luckily, he couldn't hear us. Let's okay, get him God. on. Hey, Phil. Phil? Hey, guys. Hey. Good, mor- hey. good morning. Hey, Phil. How's it going? Uh, He's Mayor, like, I'm rolling Kevin, over. How are you? Good. How you doing? Uh, you know, I I was doing okay this morning uh, until well, I literally just heard my wife on your podcast. Oh, shit. <laughs> you, was John, it the, was oh, it the part about Jimmy shit. or just in general? <laughs> It, it started I, off as um, <laughs> me worrying about her uh, asking some, some questions about money to now, you know, me wondering if uh, every time we go to Thanksgiving dinner at my dad's house and Jimmy's there, now I have to keep an eye on her. Well, Jimmy's Lock of the well, Week is much more solid than hey, Phil's Phil, what was the week. So let's just review, just for those that may not have heard Phil's Lock of the Week, it was Bills over Titans, and he did it like for nine days, it was the Lock of the Week. Oh, it was so Bills good. Bills over Titans, Phil, the final, and by the way, Bills were favored by three and a half. The final? 42-14. 42-17 Titans. What the <laughs> hell? Be yeah. like, what the I've hell is going on with you? i to guys about that. Oh. Um, so, you know, that whole COVID issue with the Tennessee Titans, I, I really thought that was going to play a factor, <laughs> and obviously, you know, that that was a mistake. Maybe you they know, were COVID pretending they had COVID. Hey, you know, gamblers, professional gamblers yeah. like myself, are still trying to figure out how that factors into these types <laughs> of <laughs> gamblers <laughs> like myself. Let me ask you, Phil, how much money did you lay on that game? Um... I, I didn't have a lot on well, that Well, how game. much did Carter lay on that game? How about that? <laughs> I scrounged together what I could. I think it was about $26. Really? In really? How much did I one? lay on that game? Um, Way too... Well, you listen to Phil. I mean, that's your, you, that's your own fault, John. <laughs> Here's the good news, gentlemen. <laughs> I, I have the real 
lock of the week this week. Is that, is right. that game no. is that game happening this weekend? I mean, can we actually it's bet it on Sunday? Sunday. Okay. All right. It's it's a no. There's no chance of losing whatsoever. No chance. This is the beginning so of bet the real your Phil segment on the show. Okay. So Phil's lock of the week for this. Can weekend. he go zero and five? Let's uh, let's see what it is, Phil. The lock of the week this week is the Green Bay Packers minus one. Minus uh, one. I actually. I actually uh, bet on them very early. I got them plus two, but the line has moved that much that now they're actually minus one. Uh, but that is an automatic. They're definitely going to beat Tampa Bay Buccaneers this week. Where's the game um, at? Tampa? I believe it's at Tampa. 4 and 0 Packers. I like, I like Phil's pick. I like Phil's of pick. Of course they're like going to win. Phil's pick of the week. I like if Phil's pick. If it's minus one with the Packers at Tampa Bay. That is a crazy – see – that almost, and if it started out plus two, I just wonder, right? Like, what do they know that we don't know? Like, the Packers Phil's, never go 5-0 and or something. I think Phil's going to break his streak this weekend. I'm with you, Phil. I think I might actually All right, I'm betting on Phil's cobble together week. a couple things Don, out of my safe here. Don, what do you I don't think? know. I've lost so much money for Phil's <laughs> lock of the week. <laughs> like that I don't think I can. I don't know, man. I mean, John, I literally just took money out of Carter's 529 plan <laughs> to make this bet. I I think mean, that penal- doesn't tell you how good this pick is. I think that is a good pick. You would That's never needlessly risk your child, your child's <laughs> college education. I would never do that on purpose. And right on purpose. No, you're like, Kelly, don't worry. We're going to get double. We're gonna, well, I'm going to put more back in. Hopefully That's this right. nice overlay graphic we have going next week will be Phil, Talon, one and five. Yeah, I see, One Phil, and four. W- sorry, one and we four. We use your goofy picture works, when you I miss, know. and then when you do well, <laughs> we'll use your nice picture. So this year, oh, okay. this week's picture is not so nice. I actually think that's a really nice picture. That's actually a pretty good picture of Phil. <laughs> Just get ready to roll in the dough. It's it's a no. It's it is a lock of the week. All right. there's, there's no way Aaron Rodgers is going to lose that game. If right. you agree, though, if if you miss this week, you agree it's going to be Jimmy's lock of the week next week. We're just going to seamlessly transition into Jim's <laughs> lock of the week, and then Phil's going to be never talked about on the show again. We agree, we're on the same page. I mean, we know where Kelly is with you and Jim. So. I mean, <laughs> I mean let's, let's just see how things go, and then let's have a discussion. About All right, it. All right fair enough. Agree. Thanks, Phil. All right, Green Phil's Bay Packers lock of the week is Green Bay Packers minus one over Tampa Bay. Get it now before. The line moves. Bet your house on it, says Phil Talon. Thank you very much to Phil Talon for his lock of the week. We got to have like sound effects. Dun, 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 dun. Lock of the week. Oh, that yeah. was loud. Currently, the only one I have is when Phil loses. We get wah, this. Wah, the, wah, play, wah, the wah, wah, wah. <laughs> he played it during. That's a good one. That's yeah. a good one. All right. I still think we should have lock of the week LOC for the pod. I like that. In caps. Phil's lock of the week. That's the way to go. I'm on it. Thank you. So, <laughs> anyway. Thank you. Our producer. Lock pot hey, you know, week. we got some interesting stuff happening right now in Northwest Indiana, and we also have a sheriff that's out there. That's waiting. Wondering if we're going to be bullshitting about lock of the week all day, if we're <laughs> actually going to bring the sheriff in here. But uh, I, we got some interesting things happening right now. I know Mayor Lightfoot in Chicago is telling people from Indiana. As of midnight tonight. Every, or last night. Every bordering state, they're telling them to stay out of Illinois. So that would be what? Iowa, Missouri, Wisconsin, Indiana. Isn't that crazy? Like, I mean, stay away. I mean, so Marissa and I last week went to Chicago. I'm, I think I'm ignoring it. For dinner. I don't think twice about it. We went to Chicago. You know what would be interesting is reach out to Horseshoe Casino and see if they've noticed any difference. Mm-hmm. I would dare say they haven't. But uh, we went to Chicago last week. For the gas station. They stations. need us, Kevin. Yeah. We were in, in Shaw's Crab House downtown. They need us. Great place. They need us. Like, they're telling everybody to stay away, and there's no customers there. Like, why don't they? Mm-hmm. Lori Lightfoot's going to cause widespread massive restaurant losses in it, chicago it's, it's crazy i i plan on i i mean i'm sorry to say this but i think i'm going to just ignore it i mean by the way I wear how many Ill, how many folks from illinois are over check the gas stations or the cigarette shops the they're uh very busy the casino still a lot of illinois plates you so. know last month quarter uh, month uh, year over year we did the same amount of money we did a year ago at Horseshoe casino and Hate to break it, Mayor Lightfoot. Most of them are Illinois. Mayor residents. Lightfoot, I'm coming to Chicago this weekend. Yeah. Look for me. I'm going to ride my bike. I'm going to do some shopping. I'm going to I will be eat lunch. Masked. I'm going to have a Hoosier flag on my mask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything's Hoosier. Like Hoosier one of those bike. little bicycle license plates in yeah, the right. <laughs> I want Holcomb to send me one of those bad boys. Hey, you know, I, do, I have sort of a lock of the week too, Kevin. All right. I'm my ready. lock is stock locks. Stock lock of the week. Well, stock we, lock. We all know you're a stock LOC. A little better than an week. amateur wow. financial advisor. I'm going to tell you how to get rich, and I'm not talking about. <laughs> What's that guy? What's that? Here we go. <laughs> I'm going to tell you how to get rich by investing in great stocks, like stocks that you know. Undervalued. Completely undervalued stock. This is Tom's stock lock of the week. Okay. <laughs> I love this. Don't BP you? stock. BP British Petroleum. Royal Dutch Shell. Exxon Mobil. These three stocks are down 
uh, about 60 to 70 percent from their 52 week high. Their PE ratio is like <laughs> 10, 8, which is very, very cheap. Okay. I'm taking notes. BP stock is at $16.50. I remember when this stock was in the 60s. I remember, well, 40s for sure. Yeah, 60s a while ago. Right? Royal Dutch Shell was in the 60s. It's down to 25. Exxon Mobil was in the 70s. It's down to 34. Now, unless you think we're never going to use oil again, I guarantee you these three stocks are, are going to bounce back. You know, I, I agree that we're going in, into a green phase and we're going to be, but they if pay you dividends think, too. If they have 10% dividends, Kevin, 5% dividends. 8% dividends. You can't get that in your savings account. I'm telling you, if you're playing the long game in the stock market, buy BP stock, buy Royal Dutch Shell, buy Exxon Mobil, bet the house on it. Forget about Phil's lock of the week. Go with Tom's stock lock of the week. I think John just left the studio to go talk British to his Petroleum, uh, stockbroker. Royal Dutch Shell. Does anybody Shell. have a stockbroker anymore? Does everybody just do E-Trade or Ameritrade? I'm an E-Trader. I'm an Ameritrader. I just, I just made you money. You I did? just made you money by watching... Left of center. So you're John, making money right now. John, instead of putting that, that like 1200 bucks you put on the Buffalo Bills, you could have bought like 10 shares of, you know, stock of uh, BP stock. I'm willing to try anything at this point. I'm on tilt. <laughs> I'm on, that's on tilt. why I'm on my way to Vegas. That's okay. a great pinball. Yeah. Why don't we bring in Oscar and we could talk about this part with Oscar in the studio. Sure. Right? Yeah. yeah. John, could you, uh, could let's you go grab, get, let's go get Oscar. Could you grab the sheriff? Let's yes. introduce him for a little bit. We'll do some sponsors and then we'll come well, back and get into the issues. Sure. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and do our second sponsors. We'll bring in Oscar right now. We'll do our second sponsors and then uh, we got some interesting topics we want to cover with, the, with sheriff. the sheriff. So let's go ahead and start off. I'll Top do a law enforcement officer of the county. Attorney Alfredo Estrada at Burke Costanza and Carver. With locations in Maryville and in Chicago, Alfredo is one of the most experienced lawyers in the area of immigration and civil litigation. He is also available at the Hammond Legal Aid Clinic to help with DACA and other immigration-related issues. Call Alfredo at 219-769-1313. Adelante con Alfredo. Nice work. Hey, Sheriff. Sheriff. Good morning. This is great. The Ron Prestimer Insurance Agency has been serving your insurance needs for decades right on Indianapolis Boulevard in Hammond. They specialize in a wide variety of insurance products and services, including business insurance, property insurance, and much more. The Prestimer Agency serves over 1,000 people and businesses all around Chicagoland and the Midwest. Call Ron at 219-844-0103 for a free quote and to discuss how to protect you and your business. Adrian Santos, the longtime East Chicago City Clerk, is asking for your support. Clerk Santos has years of service to his community and is an elected official that is trustworthy and effective. He has been a loyal public servant for nearly 17 years and asks that you consider supporting him in the future. Paid for by the committee to elect Adrian Santos. Here we go. And we have the sheriff. Lake County in Sheriff Oscar Morning. Martinez. How you doing, Sheriff? Good, good. Locked and loaded. Uh, Can you no hear out? <clears throat> Can't yeah, hear anything. That. Bring that right, mic a little closer. John, yep. he, oh, you got it? You can yep. hear us? Good, good. How you doing? I'm doing great. You like, our, you like our fat head? Yeah, look at that. I know. We got Biden watching over us. He's a fan <laughs> of the show. So. Oh, That's awesome. God. It's that time of year. Think, yes, it I, is. I'm a big fan of Oscar Martinez. I have been. It's hard not to be. I met Oscar, I don't know, 12 years ago -ish, Yeah, right? Yeah, 12 years ago. Yeah. And, and mm -hmm. the thing I love about Oscar is he is an inspiration. He, uh, he lost a race for sheriff. Mm -hmm. He ran four years later, lost a race for sheriff. You think a lot of guys would give up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two times, like believe me, I just lost a race. It's no goddamn fun, right? Right. No, no, no. And then no. To you're going around. to the, you get depressed. You don't yeah. want to come out. You don't want to do anything. Right? It's just like yeah. and forget everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I went through a really big streaking phase. It was uh -huh. it was embarrassing. But yeah. uh, but uh, but sheriff Martinez ran twice. Did you go through that streaking phase? Well, no. Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> but sheriff Martinez two times was unsuccessful running for sheriff and mm -hmm. then he ran after you know shockwaves <coughs> across northwest indiana mm -hmm. when we lost our lake county sheriff who uh we'll mm -hmm. talk about in a second we'll but, get into that right yeah <coughs> let me let's get into it. i'll never so for those of you that aren't aware we had a the lake county sheriff got a, indicted and arrested mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. got raided right by the fbi right, right. And I mean, I, I did not like Sheriff Bunchich. I was not his friend. I know Sheriff Martinez mm -hmm. was not his friend. I know Kevin mm -hmm. was not. I'll never forget that day, though, when the FBI raided the Lake County Sheriff's Office because I had no clue that he was corrupt. I mean, right. I, was shocked. I thought he was an asshole. I thought he was a bully, but I right. didn't think that. Were you shocked that day? Uh, no, I was kind of happy, you know. Yeah, uh, I mean, I imagine. <laughs> but he was, well, he was horrible to you, though. Well, in the beginning, I, I got hired under Stiglitz and... Uh, 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 Sheriff Bunch, Stiglitz. Yes, Sheriff Stiglitz. And, uh, and uh, Bunsage became uh, the, the sheriff, and uh, he came from, you know, the department. He was involved in politics and everything. And uh, 
uh, I got along with him, and you know, in the first uh, when I was first hired, when he was a sheriff, the first you were uh, a super junior years. then, right? Oh yeah, I I got hired in '93. So uh, when Bunsich took uh, office, it was in I believe in '94, and uh, you know, did my job, did what I had to do, and uh, uh, got into the field of narcotics. Uh, but when Bunsich came back uh, the second time. <clears throat> uh, he was a different person, I think. Yeah, and, really? Uh, yeah. Not that it much was just, of a difference. Uh, yeah. It was no more. Uh, I didn't see more of a, the law enforcement man, you know, the, that I knew him as. More it, of a politician. More of a politician. And then he became the Democratic chairman uh, as while he was the sheriff as well. Mm -hmm. So too much politics got involved. Uh, uh, and, and believe it or not, we got along even when we ran against each other the first time. Myself, Ligon, Phil Pot, mm -hmm. and we were mm -hmm. all uh, in the race there. And... Um, uh, we were fine. He kept me as the uh, deputy commander of the narcotic division. And, uh, you know, uh, I get called to his office and uh, pretty much he tells me a uh, word is uh, on the street is that you're going to run against me. And, and this is how long into his term? Uh, two years. Two Talk years. About Halfway like, through uh, his politics, term. right? <clears throat> right. And I said, no, that's not true. I don't know where you're getting that information from. Uh, of course, you know, I keep my name out there because, mm -hmm. you know, I, mm -hmm really going against the incumbent that you know it's tough and you always hear that so i never thought of running against him and i thought everything was okay so about two weeks later i get demoted and i i get transferred like uh at least seven times but you were and you were on the highways doing interdicting drugs right yes I was, and you were uh, damn good at it thank you yes uh per, you know pretty good at it uh intercepting uh drugs heroin and you enjoyed that job i loved it i loved it and I he took you do. off the yeah. street and where did he put you uh, he put me in the warrant division, uh, pretty much uh, desk duty. So I, every day I came to work and just sat at a desk and answered the phones. Uh, then he uh, moved me to uh, Calumet High School, New Tech, uh, as a school resource officer. And I was there just for about six months. Then I get moved again to the uh, civil division where I just delivered papers and, and evictions. And then uh, then he put me on... I was a little upset, but he put me on straight midnights, deep south. Jeez. I couldn't leave that wow. that area. And uh, in, in our department, we have take-home cars. Uh, I was the only one without a take-home car. <laughs> but at the same time, I was back on the road. Mm -hmm. So I had to pretend like I was upset. Even though you were in was, Schneider. <laughs> even though you are Schneider and Leroy. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I was down there. <laughs> oh, but, hey, I was patrolling that area real good, though. Uh, uh, but, you know, I was, uh, was kind of happy. I was back on the road. It didn't matter. And, um, and then I get transferred again. You know, it was like nonstop. Uh, you know, to try to... By the way, during this whole phase, you're also battling cancer, right? Is that yeah, right? so then to, uh, to, uh, 2014, uh, er I mean, everybody noticed this as, except for myself. You know, I, m the color of my skin uh, was n not right. Uh, I went down to about 138 pounds, and I weighed w like 190. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, people kept saying there's something wrong, and I just kept thinking it was just a stress. Yeah, stress. You know, I kept being moved, moved around, around everything. Political All the signs pressure. were there. So yeah. finally I, I went for a checkup and uh and then I was diagnosed with uh, colon cancer. So oh God. yeah. What a crappy year. Right. Huh? It was. And then I uh, And you got really sick of it. Oh right? yeah, yeah. I ended up going to Mayo Clinic. Mm -hmm. Uh they took In out Minnesota? half of my colon a colon, yeah. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. took out half of my colon and unbelievable. Uh, yeah, and uh so I was on sick leave. And when I came back from sick leave, uh, instead of light duty, he put me right back on straight midnights, <laughs> deep south. Nice, and, nice guy, uh, huh? Yeah, so, you know, I don't wish bad upon people, but, you know, when, right. when I heard that the feds were there and, and they were uh, raiding his office, mm -hmm. I'm like, well, you know. Couldn't have I mean, I think, I think that video, mm -hmm. right, that the feds had, that video, I was just, it was just shocking. Oh, uh, it's, yeah, 10, it's just the same thing, yeah. like, who... Right. It's just crazy. It's so brazen, right? And yeah. so, I mean. Right. Yeah, they had a video, for those that aren't aware, they had a video of our sheriff grabbing $10,000 out of a tower's car and basically putting it in his pocket, which is bad optics mm -hmm. for sure. But in, if he reports that money, it's not illegal. Right. The problem was he never reported <clears throat> getting yeah, that donation. Well, and it right. had something to do with like, the allegation, right, was it was for towing contracts. Right. You get more mm -hmm. tows. That's and, right. You know, right. right. Well, and if you remember, I started uh, talking about that when – so. I wasn't running against the incumbent, but after all that, I, I said, you know what? I'm running against him. Yeah. I'm going to keep my name out there. The first time I was a, a newcomer, uh, if anybody knew me, it was because of the paper, drug seizures. But that's it. I wasn't known in the political world. Uh, and we did very well. We came in third uh, on the first time we ran. So I decided to run against him. Uh, so I this knew is it was what? an uphill was this battle. Was like 2012? 
right? No, it was uh, 2010, I believe, and then uh, 2014. The 2014. 2014, yes. Gotcha. So, and um, we, we, you know, we ran. Uh, we were uh, on the Times Online uh, debate, and I, I mean, pretty much called him out on the tolls. You brought that. up him getting money for toes. Well, it wasn't necessarily. I never. I didn't go that far. Uh, but we all knew on our police department, uh, when we're hitting cer certain areas and they're literally telling us we need more toes, we need more toes. Wow. So instead of hitting high crime areas, we were hitting certain districts of tow companies and they were, you, you need to start towing more cars, more cars, more cars. That's and kind of, was, so, that's kind of curious. Right, so, don't worry about the drugs on the highway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it right, was officer, we want right, you to. It right. was specifically in Gary also where we were focusing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I'm yeah. one of the poorest cities in the United States of America. Right. Definitely in our region. Right. And, and we're and, focusing on towing people's cars. And, and Bunsich uh, um, got with uh, certain people uh, 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 with the council to have the sheriff's department enforce their, uh, their city ordinance. Uh, so, you know. The rest, and the rest is history. Is history. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Right. I'll tell you what, though. Still one of the most shocking days of my life. It was so crazy, too, because it was right after Trump won the presidency. So we were reeling, yep. obviously. As a party. And yeah. then, like, literally, I think it was the Thursday after the Tuesday election. Was so, it really that yeah, soon? Yeah, it was right after. And then the feds raid. The Lake County well, Jail. on the upside, we got Sheriff Oscar. So and that's the upside of all <laughs> that. That is the upside. And you know, things happen for a reason. Yeah. I always uh, uh, right. know that. And and you know what? I, I think it was uh, uh, it was good i didn't think so back then that i didn't win but you know i still had small little kids i was involved heavily in their sports i coached them and uh, uh being sheriff now uh i'm an empty They're nester older. yeah you know it's just my wife and i and and it takes a lot a lot of work just like being a man you would have been gone for those yes i would have been gone yeah, so see. oscar tried to Perfect. give me that crap things happen for a reason he told me that <laughs> hey mayor don't worry about that race things happen for a reason I'm i like, think yeah. he's right yeah. thanks sheriff yeah. i think he's yeah. right one of the happiest days of my mayorship though mm -hmm. is i was instrumental in in oscar's caucus i'll never mm -hmm. forget it we were in the crowd it was a at the government center it was a, it was a hot caucus which mm -hmm. a caucus is what 500 votes countywide right. yes. to replace the lake county sheriff to replace mm -hmm. the guy that was going to and prison a lot of guys running right i want to and oh, women, like, men and women yeah, uh yeah. six six maybe eight or something yeah. Yeah. okay yeah, yeah. And, but but in the primary is like 14 15 yeah. i did something i never did before in a caucus i st i was in the crowd and i just started like yeah. shouting, we were need you, to vote for Oscar yeah. Martinez. And you were, were you chairman at the time or no? No, I was no, not chairman, not. Okay. but I was like still respected sure. former chairman. Sure, sure. One of Bunchett's chief critics. Mm -hmm. And now I'm pushing Oscar like, and not just wearing a button. I'm like, you got to vote for Oscar. I'll never forget it. And yeah. people were looking at me. They were shocked because I've never seen that in a caucus before. Like get in there and vote for Oscar. And I'm like in the crowd. And yeah, it, it, it was an exciting it was day. It was uh, nerve wracking, yeah. uh, uh, but it was a shocker. So, so you win and, and, and if, hits you when when uh, uh uh judge mcdermott uh uh is swearing you in like uh oh, oh transition really nothing like, this like is really i'm getting happening, sworn right. in you're the sheriff By right so on like an here's election keys, election yeah, right yeah here's the keys to the yeah, office yeah. Uh, <laughs> good luck here's like, your badge uh -oh. you're the sheriff now <laughs> okay so uh wow you know i took one of the coolest pictures ever that day too. yes i have it in my office i know that was because awesome. the cool thing was with marissa i could get behind her as a judge mm -hmm. but she doesn't you know fear her husband getting behind her i took this awesome picture of oscar like yes. Marissa's ba family. the back of Marissa's head and you know, Oscar's yeah, entire family. Mm -hmm. And the cool thing is, honestly, I don't know if John could pull that up, but the cool thing is your family, mm -hmm. your brothers, yeah, they, they were, were crying. flat balling yeah. in the yeah. picture. It, it was, was excited. Well, it was like my Pulitzer Prize picture. That yeah, was a that's super. It. They, they yeah. knew how uh, how Ooh. hard we worked for it, and uh, my entire family how hard we worked Oscar, for it. So that it was, was yeah, I was, was I was crying that day. I have it, dude. I was it was so emotional that day. Was so because my my sister framed it for ten, and that was then that was a guy for. 10 freaking years mm -hmm. was running Worked hard well and one of the things sheriff about you is uh, it, that i know just because i've known you for a while is how tight your family is i mean your brothers mm -hmm. literally like they are with you on yes. the campaign trail all the right. time so the fact that they were there and were so emotional is not surprising yeah you won't see me with an entourage of you know just people from the it's department your... or anything it's just my two brothers are identical twins i'm also a twin with a, with a girl uh her name is olga and uh, jesse and jamie are always with me my biggest supporters great you know, guys so. and great yeah, guys yeah. and the family business yeah, tortilla Nueva yeah, Leon. yeah they took it to a new level you know my parents uh, had that you know when we were babies and uh 
we were all involved in the family business, you know, and it was so you know how to make tortillas. <laughs> oh, yeah. We were on the line separating the tortillas as they're coming out of the oven. And, you know, before it was automated and everything. It was in East yeah. Chicago. Yes, yeah, in East Chicago. Well, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Before it was automated? Oh, yeah. You know, but now the, comp- the machines and the computers do everything. Okay. It rejects bad tortillas if they're not shaped right. You know, it just dumps wow. it out. And so how before, did it used to be? By hand. You know, you have to <laughs> burn your fingers. And uh, we're kids. They're separating That's the great. tortillas. How uh, old were you when you were doing that? Oh, my God. I just when whenever we were old enough to work. You know, it was just as a family business. Yeah, you were like there what, to 14, help out, younger? you know. Oh, younger. You know, See, we were you I worked, know, 10, 11, 12. So you know how they worked the but tortilla we loved line. Being there. Oh, it was exciting going but there you know on the weekend. And going with my dad on the on the routes, uh, you know. I uh, love it. When he was delivering. Kevin and I, I both it. were real young, and we both had jobs real young. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, I worked basically when I was 12, 13 on. I think I getting a job a, every year. Working early. It just gets that you get you get used to it, right? Yeah, and you yeah. want to be doing something. It's a family mm-hmm. business. Everybody gets involved, and and like my brothers, uh, when the workers go home, you don't. You're there, you know, pretty much twenty four seven. Your dad's so. not letting you go home. Oh no, yeah, <laughs> no, no way, no. So that's not the picture I was yeah. talking about, John. There was. It's a good picture of Oscar being sworn in, but yeah. the picture I took was uh, you see the back of Marissa's head and yeah. Oscar's whole family. But that's a great picture. Oh, that is a good one. Yeah, there yeah, you go. That's yeah. you getting sworn in. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Pretty cool. Yeah, and that's my wife back there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Your wife, Melissa? Yes. Mm-hmm. You've been married for how long? Uh, 27 years. And, 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 and uh, congratulations uh, we, to her. We, we've been together for over 30 years. Uh, we high, were, uh, high school? Yeah. Well, so, yeah, we were high school sweethearts. She went to Bishop Knoll. I went to uh, EC Central. And uh, Warriors you know, I always, I always tell the story is uh, we, we met at a... Uh, the machine broke down at the tortilla factory, so it's like everybody got home. Comes back to tortillas. So my dad and my dad's <laughs> like, "I got this, get out of here." So went home, changed. Uh, it was uh, Bishop Nall versus East Chicago uh, Central Baseball at Block Stadium, and uh, you know we kind of crossed path. Uh, you know, my story is she fell madly in love with me. As as, <laughs> She's you, know, like, you were playing or you were watching? <laughs> no, no, I went watched to, to watch the game there, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, and the rest is history. That's you know, great. and then we've been together ever since. So the moral of the story is. It all comes back to love stories. All go back that's to tortillas. Right, tortillas. Yep, that's <laughs> so right. How many? How many kids you have? Uh, I have uh, three. Uh, Alyssa, she's twenty five. She's, she's a teacher. A, I thought she was a pilot, isn't she? Well, that's uh, that's Amanda. Alyssa okay. is a teacher at uh, for Lake Central School Corporation. Nice. Uh, Amanda is uh, twenty three. She's um, uh, flies. She's a, a flight instructor, chief flight instructor. She went for, to Purdue for that. Right? For, yes, that's Purdue. so cool. I remember she was literally a college student. And you would take pictures oh, yeah. of her flying. Oh, I loved that. That's and so then cool. uh, Oscar the uh, third, he's a senior at the uh, Kelly School of Business at IU. So, awesome! Congratulations. Yeah, and he's in Vegas right now. He flew out Good there with him. his buddies and his fraternity. I'm sure he's listening. You know? Yeah, I'm yeah, sure he is. I'm sure yeah. he's wide awake. He might just never yeah. have gone to bed. Right, he's right. Still he landed up. last night. He's probably oh, he's still, still up. up. He's, he's still his first up. time there. I'm like, oh, be careful, be John, careful. Is he still up? Is he still up for sure? Yeah, yeah. By the way, a fight has a lively. Discussion today going on in the comments because of that Biden head. Oh, oh really? There's a Biden crowd and a Trump crowd clearly Ooh. online watching. Really? Uh, yeah. That's all right. This guy is going to be our new president. We might as well get, get used, used to, to his it. face, right? <laughs> but hey, like, let me ask you a, sh- a question, Sheriff. Okay, because you were amazing as a drug interdiction mm-hmm, officer. Mm-hmm. So let's say you pull over a car on the highway. Mm-hmm. What would tip you off? Like that this person's just nervous because he's pulled <clears> over? <throat> or what tips you off that this person Don't is... Don't give away all the secrets. Carrying, <laughs> right. carrying drugs. For all the drug, well, car- drug mules listening. Right, right. Well, there, there's a, a combination <laughs> of things that, that our officers look for. And uh, uh, you got to understand when you when you make a lot of traffic stops, you know how the innocent motoring public reacts uh, uh, with their story, where they're going, where they're coming from. No, no different that uh, if you're doing something wrong, you're getting called to the principal's office or your parents that, you know, yells at you and say, get over here. Mm-hmm. You're like, uh oh, mm-hmm. that's just human reaction that you can't control. Mm-hmm. So you pick up, pick up on a lot of those indicators and consistencies of stories. Mm-hmm. Uh, you like know, where you're so coming from like and, going, and, and bad story. Yeah, you know, there, there's a lot, even though we can plan that mm-hmm. this is what we're going to do. This mm-hmm. is our story. It all breaks down once those red and blue lights. I, I'm a police officer, been the police officer for 27 years, and I still get nervous when you see the red and blue lights it's behind true. you and you're getting pulled over. So right. you're saying uh, even a experienced drug courier yeah. is still going to flip you're gonna, a little. Yeah. You're going to yeah. get them. Especially when you have 50 kilos of cocaine in the trunk. Uh, it makes know? it a little <laughs> bit more nerve-wracking. <laughs> oh, yeah. How much yeah, is, is, back is there. that? That's like a whole trunk full of is 50 yeah, kilos. That, but, How much know, would that be worth? Uh, well, uh, it it's a uh, hundred dollars a gram. There's a thousand grams in a kilo. So you know you're looking at a hundred thousand dollars a kilo. Five hundred times a thousand. That's yeah. a lot of zeros. Yeah. So you know, 
Uh, but, you know, we, we, we get them in oh, hidden yeah. compartments, oh, yeah. not necessarily like in, in the trunk. We'll find false compartments, false bottoms uh, inside the tires. Not just laying tanks. on the passenger seat. No, no. Sometimes those are called suicide loads. <laughs> yeah. It's just know. like. Now uh, I know what that means. <laughs> throw it in the trunk and let's chance it. But now think about it, though. Uh, <laughs> a lot loads. get away. You know, for every one we stop, sure. hundreds are getting through. Sure. I mean, Isn't look at 8094, how much traffic there is. What's so their movie? chances are, you know, are high. With the mule. Do you see that? Yeah, the mule. That's yeah, great, that's right? great. Oh, yeah. Do you have a guy that's totally like trustworthy, like a old, little old lady or a little old man? Well, that's what like, you do, and that's one thing you know that 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 you know. Uh a police officer shouldn't do is, is go out there profiling. Of course, you go out there profiling, you're gonna get, you're never gonna get the big loads. You know, the drug traffickers are smart. You'll get uh, grandma and grandpa hauling. You get uh, uh, a, a man that will hire a prostitute with their kid and say, "You're my wife. This is our kid. We're going here." You know, and but that's this easy is our story. to find out. Though, all you have to yeah. do is pull pull IDs, right? Yeah, IDs, or sometimes they don't have What's IDs, and you try to you, you start breaking things down when you're doing that roadside interview. Would you say 8094 or I65 is is more of of a All drug of highway. Really? All, no matter what. The toll road, 8094, US 41, US 30, uh, a lot is moving around. You know? I, d if, I mean, I would obviously, I, I watched the mule and I was like, mm -hmm. if, of course, I would never be in a situation like that, but if. I would of drive. Course. I would drive like fifty-five miles an hour, mm -hmm. like barely. Right. I wouldn't like you know. Well, you can't get through eighty ninety four. Eighty ninety four. The average. Flow, <laughs> Everybody's it's flying like around you. You're miles like, there's hour. the drug courier Look at right this there. guy. <laughs> He's only going fifty-five, right? right? Hey, sheriff. Do you is the drug interdiction uh, part of your department still very yes. active and very important to you as sheriff? Yes. Once I became sheriff, I reinstituted the highway interdiction. Because Bunsage uh, dismantled it and uh, mind-boggling. Yeah. So and now we have uh, uh, Munster that assigned an officer. Uh, we have Gary that assigned an officer, and uh, and they're working alongside with uh, Lake County Highway Interdiction. No, now, and that's uh, what the hell's going on with hey, that? Hey, you know, looking for an officer. I think there. He, I think you said the mayor wouldn't let him come, right? Isn't that what happened? <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, we no. got budget crunch in there. No, yeah, I mean right. I love. I, I in fact we need to talk about right. that because. Right. I, I trust and, and respect the sheriff so Absolutely. much. And my relationship with the last sheriff was nowhere near uh -huh. what it is now. And, you know, what's interesting, by the way, is I know a lot about the sheriff's office, obviously, over the years. And I, I read an article a couple of weeks ago where you were getting criticized for buying jet skis. And I, oh, I, yeah, I got a good question you. for this. I understand yeah. why the sheriff needs jet skis, but you I do? think it's important. Absolutely. I well, don't know. I want to hear this. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, we're... we're uh, <laughs> I want to hear at the commissioner's uh, meeting and we're asking for, you know, a lot of things uh, uh, within my budget. Yeah. So uh, what happens a lot, uh, uh, a budget, the budget of the Lake County Sheriff's Department is mostly day-to-day uh, 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 -day operations. The officer salary, uh, feeding the prisoners, yep. you know, a budget for that, for the food. And then you have special projects and things that uh, uh, you go to the council, uh, seven member council that we just finished our, our budget just Lake got County approved. Lake County Council. Lake County Council. Mm -hmm. So that's where you go and pitch your ideas. Uh, this is what I need. This is what I, uh, I want to do. And, and they agree and they give, they give you the money in your budget for 2021. Well, let's just say last year for 2020. So we have a marine unit, all right? And we patrols, uh, patrol the waters of uh, Lake Michigan, not just uh, Lake, uh, for Lake County, Porter County, LaPorte County. Uh, we assist Chicago as well. And uh, you come to the Ham Marina, East right, Chicago Marina. That's right. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, uh, two jet skis that are, t are 20 years old. Now, the boat we have, it's a big boat. It's like a 38-foot boat, and uh, it can't get real close to the shoreline. And just a couple of weeks ago, we awarded uh, Officer or Sergeant Musgrove uh, and a Gary firefighter and another officer for saving a family of four that went into Lake Michigan, and the riptides were taking them out. They jumped in the water to save them. And uh, our jet skis are for closer uh, to the shoreline to assist uh, instead of jeopardizing our officers jumping in the water. Or and getting, the boat, can't uh, get the, the boat stuck. Can't get the boat uh, uh, there uh, uh, that close. Uh, so the jet skis are for patrolling. Also to uh, enforce So you guys aren't going to be having fun with the jet skis? No, or, no, yeah. absolutely not. They're, and they right. could come right up to shore. Is there right. really good like mm -hmm. sheriff's, like Lake County Sheriff's Marine wear? Like do they get good swimsuits and Lake County Sheriff's <laughs> right. swimsuits. Well, they, they have uh, great equipment. In fact, we just uh, 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 purchased a, a rope launcher as well. A so, rope launcher? Right. So if you're on, on oh, shore, uh, you know, you, right. it's a gun that launches a rope That's out awesome. there. So they're oh, to able like to pick grab up you and, and the riptide. It. You're right. Exactly. I've never are, even heard of that. These are so, you know, issues. these are things that, uh, jet, what does the sheriff need jet skis for? They're not for joyriding. Right. They're also to enforce other uh, 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 jet skiers that, that are 
uh, riding those jet skis recklessly, mm -hmm. you know, and there's the, they have swimmers there, and some are, are very intoxicated. Mm -hmm. A boat can't go after them, so they'll they'll go up, uh, uh, sight them, uh, uh, get them stopped, and our boat will come. They'll get on board, and we they do oh, the damn. proper. Lake procedure. Michigan's so damn cold; you have to be intoxicated right. to get right. into it, <laughs> right? But so. uh, it, you know, it's a serious issue that the sheriff's talking about because we have around 30 or 40 people every year that die, right. that die mm -hmm. in Lake Michigan. Well, this year was another record. Right. Yeah. I mean, right. it's crazy. It I want to say... Th I thought it was in the 40s, but I mean... Yeah. yeah. I mean, but it's mm -hmm. it's a significant... And it's usually not people from Northwest no. Indiana because we know how dangerous that water right. is. I mean, and you then, have to, and you then you uh, ATVs are four-wheelers. They're there to patrol the beaches. Mm -hmm. And for the first time, uh, this is our uh, second year now, uh, the Lake County Sheriff's Department are out there patrolling the beaches, not harassing, uh, you know, uh, uh, beach goers, but just to make sure that everybody's safe, uh, that uh, helping out the people, lifeguards, and, uh, yeah, and that people when they go there they feel safe and that uh, they can enjoy themselves. We're thinking about having a nude beach in Hammond. What's your position on that? <laughs> yeah. so, there come I bet the, you the a lot of officers will sign up for that detail <laughs> to, uh, nice. to patrol I'll the take beach. Hammond. I don't <laughs> think this is good nudity. This is bad right, nudity. Right. Yeah. Uh, no, this no. isn't the French Riviera, but it would no. be cool anyway. Well, I mean, but, I know you've got a marine unit. You've got an aviation. Unit. Yeah, aviation unit. Let's uh, talk about the helicopter. It, well, you know, it's been very important. Uh, we so again, they'll criticize. We have five helicopters. Well, let's break it down. We have the Eurocopter that has the FLIR system, and uh, you've been re reading about it in the, in yeah. the papers high a lot. Where high speed chases and uh, they 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 you know spot the suspect. They they can during the day or at night if they hide in the hide in the woods, it picks up their heat signature. So we're able to uh, you know apprehend. Uh, the uh, in other words, uh, one guy fugitive. one guy takes off from the car after the right or somebody that has uh, uh, Alzheimer's and and they're lost go. and they're walking and they're in a field and they call us to search for them. We also uh, uh, implemented a, a, a Bambi bucket, so they they pick up water and put out. And they get called out all really? the time on for brush fires? fires that they can't get to. No kidding. Uh, and and you That's know cool. this, yeah, and put the fires out. Then we got the Huey. The Huey is like the the pickup truck where you can take multiple uh, 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 passengers, SWAT team. Uh, it has the hoist for rescue, and uh, so we have uh, a backup helicopter, the smaller one for the uh, Eurocopter, and then another Huey as a backup for that Huey. So and if any of them are down, we have a backup helicopter. And those other helicopters are military surplus, so it didn't cost taxpayers money. Yes, it'll cost uh, some money for upkeeping, but most of it we get from the military anyway. And the aviation unit, I assume, is great support for the patrol and yes. for probably the Marine yes. unit too. But also you got to think ahead. I, I want to be prepared. I'd rather I have something and not need it than need it and not have it. If you look, uh, uh, when just look in the sky uh, here in Lake County, you see uh, 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 Southwest Airlines always flying through here. It's like the glide, glide slope for mm -hmm. uh, a right. Midway and O'Hare. Right, right God forbid a, a plane goes down in the water for some reason. Mm -hmm. Are we prepared for that? Do we have the resources to launch a, a, a major rescue operation? I, I believe we do, so long as we have those resources, the helicopters with the hoist, our marine unit. You always got to, you can't, you know, act like that's never going to happen so, you know like, it could so now i obviously i think there's some jealousy that comes with the sheriff and it seems like you're getting some pushback from the from the county commissioners in, in particular in regards to equipment you have mm -hmm. and, and like you know spending your budgeted mm -hmm. money um mm -hmm. you know do you, how do you see this whole situation with the well, with the commissioners and the micromanaging of your purchases the, all i can say is that you know um uh you have a county council that's the fiscal and the legislative body. Mm -hmm. uh, just like this year, uh, we go through budget session and, and what we need to operate and what projects we have for next year that we want to do. Uh, once it's your budget, once it's set, you know, there's case law out there that says they, you know, commissioners or, or council cannot tell you how to spend your, your money. Uh, and, and being an elected official, of course, uh, you know, I, I want to be responsible with my budget taxpayers money so you know for them to say you know we're just doing it for the taxpayers uh, my job it's my opinion well you know and, and uh, others uh, and our attorneys is that the commissioners they're the purpose that they're there for it's our budget we have the money it's already been appropriated by the council they approved it is to make sure that the method of purchasing is being followed is it proposals is it quotes bids did we do everything right and that we're following the uh, uh the purchasing laws uh, uh, the statutes of uh of indiana mm -hmm. that's it i mean how if i want to purchase uh dodge durangos there those are police packaged vehicles mm -hmm. uh uh there's also the ford explorers they were more money than the dodge durangos uh so i could get more cars with the dodge durangos that are police packaged and they're being used state police sheriff has the dodge durangos 
you know, it's I, I just don't believe that they can tell you instead of purchasing a six hours or, or Glocks for your officers, why don't you purchase Berettas? Mm -hmm. So, I you mean, know? it's interesting. So, Mayor, let me throw this back at you mm -hmm. a little bit. So, mm -hmm. you know, obviously the sheriff's an elected sheriff. Mm -hmm. Cities have police a cons chiefs. A constitutional... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, sure, uh, constitutional uh, uh, office. Uh, yeah. Cities have police chiefs right. that you appoint. Right. So if the police chief says, well, let's just use the same example. Right. I what have do, a police what, chief, what, what, too. What do you, so right, it's like I'm an executive and well, I have if, a police if, chief. If the police chief wants to buy Glocks or Berettas, I, I don't have anything to do with that. I trust my police chief. Go through the city council. Well, yeah, once we budget the money to the police department, I let the police chief run the show. That's just how I do business. I, I could never be a successful mayor without trusting people to do their jobs, and I'm very good. And you know that because you're a department head in the city. I literally give you the keys to the ship and if you mess up i know where to go you know right and, and if you and in theory if 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 they believe that that's the way it's done that their 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 uh, uh power or authority is to approve or deny so next year in theory every time i go to the commissioners for contracts uh, uh, pr uh put out bids for proposals or whatever they can say no and i can't operate i can't function mm -hmm. and that's not true that, that's not the the authority you know uh my opinion is that uh, their authority is to make sure we're doing the proper procedure in purchasing and quotes and bids, and uh, we're following the, the statute in purchasing. So We got a question from the Internet. Uh, question from Jim. Uh, do you have a great relationship with the Porta County Sheriff Dave Re yes. Reynolds and, and LaPorte County Sheriff? I'm not even sure who the LaPorte County Sheriff is. And do you guys work together to you know, regionally? Yes, uh, we, we meet uh, monthly uh, in, in Porta County. Uh, it started off as a... Uh, Dave Reynolds is a great sheriff, yes. isn't he? Mm -hmm. great and he guy. He's done a lot of great things for Porta County mm -hmm. as well. And he's the, also the president of the uh, Indiana Sheriff's Association. Oh, yeah? And doing a lot of great things there, too. So he's heavily involved in with legislation and, and things for uh, sheriffs. And not just sheriffs, but for law enforcement across... Uh, the state of Indiana. Sheriff here, is, so. is is the, I guess for lack of a better term, like Northwest Indiana, is that considered part of the Chicago drug, you know, mm -hmm. circle or yes. is it its own? Is it is it on its no, own? No, no, it's uh, it's it's connected with Indianapolis. Chicago and everything. Uh, yes, you know that's a nexus there too. So, uh, it, it, all major cities, everything, uh, Lake County, Northwest Indiana plays a major role, but a lot dealing with uh, with Chicago. Um, let me ask you a question. In Hammond, we in installed something we call the LPR camera system, mm -hmm. which is license plate readers. I was shocked because I know we use them a lot to mm -hmm. make arrests in Hammond. But when I went and visited the, the GRIT task force mm -hmm. in, in Hobart, the officers for the GRIT task force is the, the, the gang response investigative team, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. They told me how often they use Hammond's mm -hmm. camera system to right. arrest suspects. And I was very happily surprised to hear that because I thought it was more just a Hammond issue. Do you use Hammond's yes, LPR system? Yes. So we have, uh, we have that system. Uh, we don't have cameras, but we have the system. You tap and, into our system. Yeah, right? we tap right. in with permissions. Right. You have to right. get permission from sure. uh, the agencies. And uh, we, we tapped into uh, nationwide uh, uh, in Texas, Florida, you know, California, Arizona, any agency that has Chicago. that LPR, Chicago, uh, we're able to get those alerts. Now, people may think it's like Big Brother watching. It's not. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not like the car crosses and it runs your license and we know a lot about you. It, it doesn't do that. It's data that's input. Put it in there. So, do you so, have a warrant? So, is it a stolen car? Yes. Right. Uh huh. So, if you're not a criminal, you haven't done it. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, a, a registered sex offender. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we have to keep tabs on registered sex offenders. So, if we have an LPR by a park or a school, and and it picks up anomalies like this car went around four mm -hmm. times. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's and it's a registered sex offender. Mm -hmm. We get those alerts. Interesting. And, so how, about, uh, how about this? Like. Because also the cool thing about the LPR system is the towers mm -hmm. that the, that are out in overnight repo, and repo guys, repo mm -hmm. guys are looking. They have our system in their car, and they can't get what we get out of it. <clears throat> They're literally patrolling theirs. the streets for us. So mm -hmm. they'll say this car has a tendency to park at this address, mm -hmm. even if it's not associated. It's like maybe it's your girlfriend's house or something. Like this car goes to this address a lot. And, but it's and, like so. Basically, they're like data miners for us. I mean, they get the data for us, mm -hmm. right? And we exactly. can, and, and, law enforcement uh, can use. And it's great for investigation purposes. Uh, we're looking to uh, purchase cameras. We're looking. It's about eight hundred thousand uh, dollars, but we're looking to get thirty six cameras and place all around Lake County that all other agencies can like use. where would it be on the highway? Uh, uh, no, everywhere. Uh, major intersections like uh, on the interstate, uh, off ramps from uh, uh, eighty ninety four to Indianapolis Kennedy. Uh, major roads coming in from. Uh, 
Illinois or other counties uh, coming into Lake County. So we get alerts if uh, there's someone that uh, with stolen vehicle, someone that's wanted. Amber alert. All Amber's this, alert. Right. But here's another thing. Uh, say there's a homicide at a hotel. Witnesses say that, uh, you know, they saw a suspicious vehicle that, that was a blue uh, mm -hmm. Ford Explorer. We could go to the system and tap in Blue Ford Explorer, mm -hmm. and if Where within the time frame in that area, we're able to get leads and, 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 and such a great you know, tool. So. I know. Such a great tool. Yeah. Where, do, where you know, Sheriff, where do you stand on body cams? Oh, uh, they're great. I, I I love the body cams. So, uh, do you guys, all your officers wear them? Yes, all our officers have them, and I'm pushing to get also in car cameras. So it's picking mm -hmm. up, you know, if they're in pursuit because the body cam is more by the dash steering wheel when it's being recorded mm -hmm. so when, you're, when driving, you're driving you're not seeing right. anything so i want to get uh in car cameras as well for uh, uh the vehicle but when i first started uh and i'm going to court uh and, and thank god you know I've, I've won all my cases uh it was just hard for or for uh defense attorneys you know to, to believe that my client gave you consent to search the vehicle mm -hmm. uh and they don't mm -hmm. realize sometimes they have great hidden compartments and they've been searched before even dogs alert on the vehicle and they just don't find the compartment. So you have to be no experienced kidding. in searching, you know, cars and know where to look. So I told them that was uh, in the night ninety six. I said I want a, a video camera in my car, you mm -hmm. know, and that will eliminate everything. So when they give you consent, you have a. Actual... I have it everything there, mm -hmm. and and when I'm searching, I'm doing things right. And those were back in the day. Now we have like DVRs. Now it's uh, it was a or it was a VHS tape in a big old vault, right? You know, and uh, uh, it, you know, it was all old school stuff, but. Like, uh, uh, I love cameras. It's there. It protects the officer yeah. as well, and it's great for evidence. Heck you know? yeah! I yeah. think you know my officers. The way, yeah, their their body cams are automatically turned on when their lights go on in mm -hmm. the car. If they turn on the lights, the body cam. Oh, wow. Isn't that that's cool? awesome! It's like and that's Bluetooth. great because here's the thing: sometimes in the heat of the moment, they they will turn it on a little bit late, but it does record six, thirty seconds before. So when you turn it on, it has a pre-record. So. Uh, how long, how long is the Lake County Sheriff been using body cams? Is that under you or was that before? No, that was uh, before. So mm -hmm. probably I would say maybe uh, five years, maybe. Yeah, Hammond PD Our, was the first. I remember yeah. we were mm -hmm. early. And right. when and initially the FOP. It was in car cameras at first. Yeah, right? we, had, then, then we went, went to body. To body yeah. And then when we went to body, it wasn't, the officers weren't crazy about it. No. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we had a situation that was national news. Mm -hmm. And after that, like right. it was widespread acceptance. Right. And now... I think the officers look at it like their insurance policy. So do we, yes. do we have, uh, or do you think dash cam, are dash cams more standard or are body cams more standard? What body cams, you, every, every. Body cams are becoming yeah. more standard now. Yeah. Okay. And are dash cams more expensive than body cams or is it? Uh, yeah, they're all expensive. Yeah. 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 Well, the storage is really expensive. Yeah. That's, that's, that's where you pay the most. Because yeah. yeah, you have to keep it stored for a yeah. long time. Yeah, the, you know, you can't get well, rid sure. of Statue of limitations kind of stuff, right? Right. And there's no statute of limitation on murder. Right. Well, like. Yeah, if you're dealing with somebody, though, like you probably have to keep it store. I imagine a couple of years. I right? would think so, right. for right. sure. Right. And in yeah. a place like Hammond or the county, mm -hmm. it's a lot of... Like our system, uh, uh, the in-car camera, I know for w one system, it's about $8,000. Mm -hmm. So that's wow. for one car. That's not cheap. Know? Hey, so let me ask you a question. Not. seems to me like there's been... In fact, Kevin and I last night saw a low-speed chase going right down <laughs> Calumet Avenue. Uh, yeah. seems like there's a lot more high-speed chases. Like, yes. Is that... Uh, do you think you share you know, that? It is, and and I got to tell you, majority of our pursuits they're going to Chicago. Uh, literally, they're supposed so, to stay out of here, didn't they? Get right. the order? Well, they? <laughs> well, now they are. It's Wait Friday. a second, right. Mayor as Lightfoot as said as as of today. Oh, okay. so now there right. won't be any guys from no Illinois. More, I guess <laughs> that we can't go over there. I haven't gone to Chicago since all this started, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, and they're saying you know if you're from Indiana that don't you, you can't go into Illinois or anything. I like went to that. Shaw's and we quarantined for two weeks yeah. before we got yeah. there. You're yeah. still in quarantine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we yeah. saw. And I, I'm not kidding you. We, Mayor and I saw last night on Cayman Avenue yeah. a guy, a low speed chase. going like 25 miles an mm -hmm. hour. There were probably like nine monster cops around it. I think there mm -hmm. might have been a sheriff's vehicle. Right, and right. I mean, and then I saw one on the way home on Ridge Road, right in front of Strax at the state line. Well, Another you know, one with the there was sheriffs. two of them. Yeah. Yeah. One thing Munster that, was that busy. I did implement, and and for all our officers, and, and uh, uh, they all get certified in their train and, and, and the uh, pit maneuver. So you see it a lot in the west coast but our officers are now trained to uh, a pit a vehicle i could do that the longer <laughs> you yeah, think see. you can yeah, but see. you have to know I'm how gonna, to do it put I'm it on the course what speed because if you're you're, you're too fast you pit you're both gonna lose Dude, it i'll take oh. them out. uh but the, the i'm, a, I'm an expert over. driver Sarah. the key is <laughs> the key is ending the pursuit expert as soon at everything as possible. i am an expert driver <laughs> are you i probably got like you know i tell you what when our training comes up come on by oh right? let's go let's go can i can we can john and i come film it when he rolls over yeah when he rolls you guys can see how you know what else i want to do what's that I want to get one of those puffy suits on and get attacked by the drug dog. Oh, okay. Yeah. We have, have uh, you done that before? Training. Also great no, video, no, I John. I have. That is something I definitely want to do. When he starts screaming because it went through the suit. <laughs> there is no way. Dogs love me. 
Yeah. Just, uh, Make sure you give him a suit that's been used a lot. Right, <laughs> right, right. A little it's, worn this down. This is a very thin know? suit. It's, a, it's like a T-shirt. <laughs> hey, Sheriff, is this going to be okay? <laughs> it's fine, fine, Mayor. You'll be fine. Just, Just start a- running that way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So uh, I'm riding my bike a couple of weeks ago. I go oh, down, yeah. going down the bike trail, and I'm like, there's all kinds of sheriffs all over on ATVs. I'm like, this damn sheriff's got ATVs everywhere. Uh-huh. And I go by, Oscar Martinez goes by me. And yeah. I'm like, what are you See, doing like down the, here? The yeah. sheriff that's active. He yeah. was yeah. out there with Melissa. You know, mm-hmm. on a it was a ATV. Oh, oh yeah, an ATV uh, shares ATV. Looking for a, a, uh, a that, dog. Uh, yeah. Our Dutch oh, Shepherd. Oh, we heard about that. He's famous. That's kind of <laughs> scary because that's not cheap. Yeah. That's not a cheap $13, dog. Thirteen thousand dollars, and uh, they just came back from Canada. Uh, and uh, I was at a restaurant, and I get the call that uh, it was uh, an officer, and uh, pretty much the dog got loose from her when she, she got home, and the dog's mind was, I think, just, I got to go back to Canada. It was a 14-month <laughs> oh, Dutch Shepherd. He's like, I miss Canada. I don't, my I don't girlfriend's like, in Canada. <laughs> I, I <don't>. yeah, right? <laughs> and uh, I get the call that it got loose. I wasn't happy about it. Massive search, you know, mostly around the White Hawk uh, uh, community Crown area. Point, Crown sure. Point. Yeah. And uh, everybody's, you know, what's going on? And it was like a three-day search, 24 hours. Three days. Yes. And you know what? I got to say the community was awesome. They didn't criticize. Uh, A lot of the spottings and where we were moving was because of uh, people calling in that they saw the dog. And they were helping out, too. So German Shepherd, I assume? Dutch Shepherd. Dutch Shepherd. Shepherd. Okay. Uh, We finally find it on Monday morning. And it was a big relief. We found the dog. You know, it, it was a younger officer, younger dog, but ultimately, you know, it's still the handler's, handler's responsibility. Uh, so Tuesday, the commander <laughs> comes in and says, hey, uh, he's trying to be diplomatic. You know, it's, uh, uh, it's unfortunate what happened. You know, young officer, uh, we, we like to give her a second chance, or, or the officer. And I was, I don't know, but I believe in second chances. Yeah. People make mistakes. Maybe I should have waited a little bit. Uh, and, don't uh, tell me the, don't yeah, tell me the end of this story. Is the dog got away. So, <laughs> so Tuesday around noon, we give the dog uh, back to her. Uh, four hours later, I get a call oh from my commander and says uh, the dog got away again. And I was like, "That's not even funny. Don't joke around like that. What do you need? Because they call me all the time for things. No, the dog got away again. Uh, this time, that sucks. You know, uh, uh, when the officer let the other oh. dog out, she left the door open Ooh. and it just bolted. So it was another day and a half search for that. I was not happy. Are there third dog. chances at the Lake County <laughs> No, <shirt>? no. <laughs> so thank God. You know, my concern was, uh, so pe- people were worried uh, it's a police dog. is going to attack someone. They won't, not unless they're commanded to do so. And they have certain commands to do so. The dog was scared. The dog was, uh, I've never seen so many coyotes all of a sudden. And I'm like, the dog's going to get eaten up by a right. pack of coyotes. Right. And um, uh, so I was concerned, uh, you know, about uh, the dog and, and just public safety and everything. And But we found the dog at the second time. Uh, we could have kept the dog, but I just felt so yeah. young and everything it went through. Uh, his first few days in America. We're not sure. I said, Back we're going to gonna deport him. We're gonna, Back yeah. to the Great White North. Yeah, you get you your go. wish, Dax. <laughs> Off there you go. Go patrol so, Alaska. Right, that's right, great. So, well, that's yeah. interesting. By it the way, our, out. our poll has spoken. Oh, uh, Do you want to see a segment of Tom? In a protective suit against a police dog, and ninety-one percent. Yes. Wow. See, well, what ha- you know, you didn't mention your other poll, John. What happened yeah. with the Biden Trump well, poll? You ended that pretty quickly. No, I didn't. I, I left that poll up longer than any. You other know poll. what? And? How about how about the taser? Uh, well, oh, it's a left of center show, so of course you people are going to say no. Biden. Are gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> it's five seconds, yeah. but it feels like an eternity. I will never do, do that. Oh, Wait, what's that? The taser. Oh no, 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 no. I will get attacked by a dog. I just saw somebody. I just saw somebody. Didn't somebody get injured from it or? In that training, does sometimes don't the officers? The officers oh, have it to had nothing tased, to do right? with the taser, yeah. But but unfortunately, our, our, one of our officers, uh, uh, I think, was just dehydrated or something, you know. But uh, if I did it, uh, I know I'd probably lose control of my bowels or something. Oh, we could. <laughs> please, let's Remember get when that, we John? tased the mayor? Can and we video? The, can we video that too? <laughs> That'd be good. Yeah, we should probably keep that one off there. I, I, I crapped myself when I did it, so yeah. I can't imagine that feels very good. You've been no, tased. No, it's yes, it's five Ooh. seconds, no, but it feels you. like you know a minute no, or thank five you. minutes. It's just How many I thought times? I'm. M- malfunction so i'm i'm like i'm gonna die here it's it's not gonna stop <laughs> wow. I, you know but john was, you want to get mine five for that? seconds no but no. as soon as it stops you're normal you're fine you're yeah. like wow let me ask you a question you know you've been sheriff a long time mm-hmm. uh you've been a police officer a long mm-hmm. time have you ever pulled your gun in line of work mm-hmm. yes. okay uh, have you ever had to fire? i mean i i'm not if you're not comfortable have you ever had to fire uh, we i did yeah okay mm-hmm. and then taser obviously yep. probably taser. more common multiple and, uh, times or uh, 
Is this because you talk? I talked to some Hammond police officers, mm-hmm. and I talked to some people that have been around a long mm-hmm. time. They're like, I've never even drawn my gun, which right. is shocking to me. Mm-hmm. Is I'm like, wow, well, that's you good. Mean, I mean, right. that, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. And you know, with, with all the tension that's going on around, around the country, I was just in Indianapolis speaking with uh, you know civil rights leader Bernie Carter was there. You know, uh, overall, uh, I've been an officer for 27 years. I've never received a complaint for excessive force, for racial profiling, uh, uh, anything like that. And that is what uh, most police officers, 99.9% of officers, uh, do. They do their job. They're passionate in what they do. They love their job. They want to make a difference in their community. And uh, uh, 99.9% of officers are doing what they're supposed to be doing. I mean, but there's know? some bad apples. And there's mm-hmm. bad apples. I mean, as a, you as know, a when you look officer... at the percentage, when you, officers across the country dealing with mi- personal contact, mm-hmm. millions and millions of people, you know, uh, we come in contact with. So, Sheriff, when you see um, these episodes of mm-hmm. uh, what, you know, appear to be excessive force, mm-hmm. appear to be you know, some, I mean, obviously George Floyd, all these things, mm-hmm. right? When you see that, what is, as a, as an officer, knowing what you know as an officer, how does it make you feel? You know, we feel dis- disgusted. Yeah. And when we see that, we're like, oh boy, here we go again. You know, we're going to be labeled, uh, you know, as, as corrupt, bad officers, uh, abuse their power. And that's not true. What's key is always training. You know, uh, I just purchased the, uh, the virtual system is uh, virtual reality. This is uh, a cool uh, system. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. And then we're going to open it up for uh, all agencies to come and uh, it's for de-escalation. Dealing with suspects this with is, mental illness. Uh, it's a, don't you scenarios. walk into like you're surrounded. You've by done this. Yeah, degrees. I went in Michigan City. Yeah, yeah and degrees. then they do a scenario where you're like surrounded by people. 360 mm-hmm. degrees. Yeah, 300, uh, 300 virtual. Three, yeah, 300 degrees. Yeah, and you have a gun and and you have a situation like I was in a courthouse scene where mm-hmm. a, a madman came in and took the courtroom hostage mm-hmm. and had the judge. Wow! The, the did you tell Marissa you made it through and yeah. like you yeah. saved her? No, I did not. But save see, her. Those are, <laughs> <laughs> that's a bad ending. Those are de-escalations. So shoot, don't shoot scenarios. So mm-hmm. you, there's over 800 scenarios. So, so if, that you go, one, if you do that one, there's mm-hmm. different scenarios. Yeah. Because uh, you, you have to give the out. courtrooms. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. you oh, have to neat. give out commands on dropping the gun to de-escalate. And, and the guy in the background with the computer will decide how, mm-hmm. if you're given en- enough commands. Not, now get me in line for that. They can That's also jam your gun. And, you know, so if you're firing, the, they can make the gun jam, and you have to go to a secondary weapon. And they, you have tasers in that also? And, tasers. Yeah. And, and a body, mm-hmm. uh, like a body yes. belt. So if, you're, if you get shot, <laughs> you, you get, get shocked. shocked. So, oh, so the man. purpose of that mm-hmm. is how you're going to react to that painful shock and, and be able to, you know, uh, You know reacquire. what my answer was? I just started shooting everybody. <laughs> I didn't want to get shocked, man. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so then they didn't want me to be able to officer after that. Yeah, was, that was it. Right. Thank you. Right. Thanks for coming by, I just Mayor. went in there yeah. firing. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I'm not yeah. getting shocked. You gotta right. be kidding me. You know? no, Here thinks it's right. Call of Duty. It's really just a <laughs> it's right. Call of Duty. <laughs> right, right. That's pretty neat, though. And that's yeah. and you, like you said, I think the advantage of the county doing that, and mm-hmm. and you as sheriff, is that you're letting other agencies yes. utilize that. It's a, a crucial tool for officers. Uh, uh, what they deal with again is a de-escalation, dealing with uh, dealing with uh, individuals that want to commit suicide, and you know, talking talking them mental off that ledge. And mental and health issues. Uh, uh, active shooter scenarios. You're in a school. It's the scenarios of different schools, and uh, kids are running, and you're trying to find out where's the gunman, what's the description, uh, you know, total chaos there, and just how to deal with that. Also, uh, uh, Virtra, you they can film, say, the government center. Mm-hmm. They'll film the government center really? over the weekend and put up scenarios. That is awesome. Uh, so you're familiar with certain areas. That is the so mall, cool. So you know, oh, this that is, is our mall. That is so cool. I didn't that know what's going on. Unbelievable. You know? mm-hmm. Yeah, that's so. fun. Yeah. So. Well, that's great, Sheriff. Well, Sheriff, I tell you what, you've been a great guest. I'm looking forward to the next it was time fun already. Being here. Yeah, Thank man, you for it having flew. Me. We had a lot of viewers on the show, awesome. and that's obviously a, a Everybody great Everybody wants guest. to know what the law enforcement is up to. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I do want to do that that puffy dog attack. Yeah. You can even get Dax to do it. He'll probably yeah. run away. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like he's fine. Hey, he's already on his way like, to Canada. Just, hey, hey, he'll run after you, but then just keep going. <laughs> keep going. Hey, where's he going? <laughs> where's he Mayor's going? running away. And Dax just runs. Dax, attack me! Come on, I'm trying to give views here. Yeah. So, well, Sheriff, thanks uh, a lot it was for awesome being down. here. Yeah. Thank you Thank so you, much. Sheriff. You guys you, have a great Lake weekend, County too. Sheriff Oscar Martinez is a great Thank guy. Be safe out there, Sheriff. All your guys, well. too. And, and thanks to Left of Center, all of our audience watching. Thank you very much. Uh, don't forget to rate and subscribe our show. Uh, download it on Apple Podcasts. You download it on Spotify. You can download it on YouTube. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and rate. Uh, awesome. Good luck getting to Illinois this weekend. Good show. Right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Sheriff. Thank Bye, everybody. Mm-hmm.